Good. Um, so, welcome to the Building a Future for Women in Trades event. And this is the Electronic Time Machine Workshop. I am Bathwit Emily. That's Building a Future for Women in Trades, Bathwit Emily. This is what you're going to be drawing. This is an electronic schematic of... This is here on your breadboard. Look. You're going to build this. Fantastic. So, you will have, as part of your kit... This bag here with all of your pieces, a plastic container. You're going to use this to put all of your tiny pieces in so that you don't lose them. You also will need two long pieces of wire. They might be gray, they might be another color. Some wire strippers and some needle nose pliers. Okay, so to start with, take your pieces out of your plastic bag and we'll start with your battery pack and your batteries first. Okay, put your, just to make sure they don't go rolling around anywhere, put your batteries into your battery pack. Make sure that you are matching your positive to positives, negative to negatives. There we are, set that aside. Okay, uh, and the next thing is you can take out your breadboard and the small plastic baggie with all of your pieces in it. Okay, so there's your breadboard. Carefully open this up. You don't want to bend any of this stuff. It's really, really delicate, very fragile. And put it into your plastic container, put the bag side in there. Okay, so the first piece that we're going to start with is a 555 timer. Okay. This is what it looks like, and I think you can see, if I zoom in and autofocus picks it up, it does. Right there, you see that little black dot? We're going to call that the belly button of your breadboard. When you put your timer in, you need to make sure that that little black dot is pointing towards the center of the breadboard, not out to either end, but into the center. Okay? And right now my breadboard is upside down. Um, one of the things your bath list might have to help you with is you can see how these wires on the 555 timer, they're kind of not quite at a 90 degree angle. You will need to very gently on the table bend them a little bit so that they're let's see, out of focus, not quite. And there we go, so that they're 90 degrees. Okay, and I'll just do the other side too, very quickly. Okay, so once you have gotten those nice and straight, like I said, your belly button, okay, that little dot of your 555 timer needs to be pointing towards the center of the board. And I'm just going to put it in there, a little clip in. It needs to be um, lined up on the, the line that says 45, okay, that's where your first, you know, the bottom of your timer will be here, okay, so that's the 45 line. Okay, next thing you need to do is you're going to connect your wires. We're going to start with the orange wires. You should have four. Take your four orange wires out. Okay, and we will connect them. And what you don't want to do is you don't want to bend these wires too much. Okay, play with the pieces too much. I know it's fun, but you really shouldn't. Okay, and once you have them clipped in, if you just press them down onto your breadboard so that they're flush. Okay, this one is going to go in here. This number three. Okay, so there are your orange wires. Okay, good. Uh, next, we'll do the black wires. You should have three black wires. Okay, and they are going to go in again, the same way. 
just push them in into the clips, into the breadboard. Okay, and push them down flat. Now these ones down here, at this end of the breadboard, these, here we go. They need to be in this shape because that's where your battery pack's going to sit. They need to be in this shape so that your battery pack will fit nice and flush against the top of the breadboard. So it's kind of like an S there, you can see. Okay. Go in the last black one. Up here. Okay. So there we go. There are your black wires. Okay. And next one, yellow. Yellow. Sunshine yellow. I got sunshine on a cloudy day. Okay, so two yellow. It's gonna go here. Just next to your five 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 timer. And the other one is gonna go here. Alrighty. Just there, like that. Okay. Next, we are going to put in your resistors. We will start with your single blue resistor. You can take off these little pieces at the end. Okay, they're just to protect the wires. Let's just pull them off. There we go. Okay, now if you look at the resistor, there are different lines on there. Okay, what's autofocus kicks in or not. There we go. Okay, so there are brownie red and blue strips on there. You want the two brown strips to be facing into your 555 timer. Okay, for this one. This one is going to go here between these two dots. Alright, so I'm just going to put it on my breadboard, get my needle nose pliers, and roughly estimate how long it is before I need to bend. Okay, so you just pinch the wire and bend the wire down so it's about 90 degrees. And measure again roughly. Hey there, George. Hi, how are you? How's it going? It's going really well, actually. I got your blueberry muffin after this so you can re-energize. Oh, that's great. I love blueberries. Refuel. Okay, so again, those brown lines, those two brown lines, put them in here. One, two, there's resistor numero uno. Next two resistors need to go in. Again, get your blue ones. Take off those little recovering. Hey, George. Yes? While you're here, do you want to give us a little bit of a an info on what is it, what it is that resistors do? Oh, resistors resist the flow of water, of electricity, much like um, if you had a big clog in a pipe, it would resist the flow of water through the pipe. Hmm. It resists the flow of electrons. There we go. So what does that mean when we're trying to turn on our LEDs? With respect to the circuit, to that uh, chip you see, the black one, the five called five the 555 five five timer, mm -hmm. uh, developed in 1972. They call it the electronic timing machine. It's got all kinds of parts inside it, but you hook up a few external parts, mainly capacitors and resistors, and depending on their values, they'll have an output pulse that varies over time. And it has a specific frequency. Frequency is just cycles per second. Anyway, you put in a specific resistor and a capacitor, you'll see an output pulse, and if you hook it to an LED, you'll see it flash. So you can see the, the pulse of electricity in the flash of the LED. Yes, it's turning the LED on and off, but mm -hmm. it could be controlling a um, washing machine mm -hmm. or a set of lights. Mm -hmm. It could be so fast you can't see it, you might only hear it. It could be so fast you can't hear it or see it. You might have to hook it up to something called an oscilloscope to look at the signals. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. Thanks, George. Or it could be so slow you just haven't don't have time to wait to see it turn on and off. You're welcome. Fun facts. Fun facts, George Heros. I'm so glad that you asked ask me. 
Okay, so we put in the two blue resistors there. Okay. And next, get one of the brown resistors, tiny brown beige resistors in your pack. And again, bend the wires, okay, so that it fits right here. Okay, let's slide it in like that. Good. All right, so our resistors are in. Oh, one thing I did forget, your long gray wires. Or they might not be gray, they could be another color. Okay, you are going to strip them with your wire stripper. Okay, so about, I don't know, a centimeter or so from the end. Yeah, roughly that. Okay, clip around and slide off the plastic. Okay, try not to send the, the plastic flying. We don't want to leave a mess here. It's not fair for other people to tidy up. Okay, so there's one. We'll do the next one. And one, two, three, four. There you are. You know how to strip wire. Great. Okay, so one of these is going to go in next to that brown resistor there. Okay? Right next to it. And it's going to connect to this bottom one here. That's right. And this one goes in here. This one's going to go next to this resistor. Okay. A couple more things we have to put in. This little blue thing is a capacitor. George, I'm going to ask you again, what does a capacitor do? A really good source of information is Wikipedia. Mm -hmm. So let me step back to the 555 timer. Mm -hmm. If you go to wikipedia.org and look up 555 timer, mm -hmm. it'll give you lots of information about 555 timer. And you should also look up maybe resistors and capacitors mm -hmm. and how they work. We Excellent. don't have time to explain that here. Oh, that's unfortunate. I wish I did. We are almost... They store electrical charge. They store an electrical yes. charge. It's like a battery without chemicals. Fantastic. Next Across. thing next thing you need to put in is your switch. Ask okay. me what a switch does. What does a switch do, George? It either connects or disconnects you from your circuit. Mm -hmm. Now, this switch doesn't stay on. This is called a single pole, single throw, momentary, normally open. So this switch is never on. Unless it's only on when you press the button. Great. Okay. We are almost done, ladies and gentlemen. If some gentlemen happen to watch it. Last thing. You need to get your LEDs, your light emitting diodes. All right. So we'll put one in here. Now, one thing you'll notice about these is the two wires coming out are different lengths. That has to do with the polarity. Now, if it doesn't work the way you put it in, once you've connected your battery pack and the lights aren't flashing, you have to reverse the polarity, take it out and switch it around. Okay? So, we have our wires, we have our resistors, capacitor, 555 timer, LEDs. The last thing is your battery pack. These two wires need to be in line with number 10 on this line here, where those other two wires are. Now, they should, it should just slide in. And there is a little space for those wires to go in. Remember I said they had to be in an S shape? It's so that the battery pack lays flat. And here it is. Drum roll. Hey, hey, hey. We've got a working time machine. Fantastic. Okay. Quick thing. This is what your breadboard looks like underneath. So when I said that your battery pack and those two wires down here needed to be all in the same line, that's because they are connected underneath by this metal strip here. I heard you got it working and, and I did. rushed over. Fantastic. Oh, yeah, and that works. These connect because the wires are being held by these little clips on the inside of the breadboard. They're just like clothes pegs and they pinch the wire. And that, ladies and gentlemen, there you are, your breadboard. Have any questions, you can ask your backwits. Or, like George said, go on to Wikipedia. It is a really useful source. If you're viewing this at home, though, you won't be able to ask the backwits. No, so Wikipedia. Yes. Look up Wikipedia. Uh, I may add, a, a, add some links for um, contacts. Very useful. Okay, there we are. Enjoy.
Goodbye, oh, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye. Do we have a smiley face? Oh, yeah. We have a smiley face. We have a smiley face. Let's finish with a big bang. Woohoo!